Mike Stevens spends this visit to the PhotoLink library looking at some of the smaller things in the world. There are more than you might imagine. You know, every time I think I've seen it all, I see some more. Small things, I mean. Dino Langus had a visitor to the patio and got its portrait. Alexandra Mazak of Gilberton went out to the flower garden one day and found a pair of youngsters. They just keep on coming. A bit larger, but still not that big, a mallard duck at Montoursville in a portrait by Richard Leibert of Eagle's Mirror. But we promised the smaller things in life, so here is a sample, and a delightful, delicious one it is. Blueberries from Cynthia Rod of Catawissa. A bit of an illusion here with one of the smaller things in the world. Nancy Free captured what appears to be a hummingbird trapped in a feeder. Not to worry, just taken on the other side. If you miss an opportunity to look at butterflies, you miss what might well be rated right up there in the book of nature's loveliest, most delicate creatures. Nancy Takach of Dallas sent this one. Carol Elliott of Mount Cobb offered this beauty. A butterfly bush in the backyard of Ann Sable in Northumberland drew this visitor. You can find butterflies nearly everywhere these days, if you but look. Butterflies and zinnias from Lisa Luck of Archbald. Jamie Fisher of Sailorsburg with a swallowtail on grandmother's butterfly bush. From Robert Silvic of Herndon, a summer capture to look at again in the dead of winter. Small and beautiful it is. Another summer creature that you may not consider as lovely as a butterfly, but interesting nevertheless, a praying mantis from the backyard of Desra Lee. The hunter at rest makes a good title. Well, on to bigger things. A full moon from Dawn O'Rourke of Wapwallopin. A sight of summer for sure. See it, save it, send it on in to the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens.